the inverse of this function. And so the first thing that you want to do is switch the variables. That's the easiest way to do it. So instead of y, we're going to put x equals negative 2. And instead of x, we're going to put y plus 3. And now we're going to rearrange this new equation in terms of y. So we want to isolate the y. So easiest thing to do, minus 3 from both sides. So we've got x minus 3 equals negative 2y divided by negative 2 on both sides. So we'll have negative x divided by 2 plus 3 over 2 equals y. And this new function is the inverse of our original function. There you go.